Welcome to our video, on how to make this 3D part. In this tutorial, we'll take you through the process of visually dissecting the isometric view, and recreating it step by step. So, let's dive in. First we will add additive box, 47 by 34 by 33 millimeters. 22 millimeters plus 12 millimeters in this direction. In next step we will use subtractive box. 22 millimeters width, 8 millimeters thick, length will be 47 millimeters minus 14 millimeters. In third step we will remove material additional 4 millimeters downside. And in last step, we will additional remove 12 millimeters material downside with shown cross sectional area. Let's begin with this. Select part design workbench. Click here to add a new document. Click here to add a new body. Under this body we will define additive box. Click here. Select XY plane for reference. Change length, width and height dimensions. 47 millimeters. Width will be 22 mm plus 12 mm. Height will be 33 mm. Click OK to add this box. Select subtractive box to remove material. 8 mm thick. Width will be 22 millimeters. Length will be 47 minus 14 millimeters. You can use expression to define length. Click OK. Select XY reference plane. Move 14 millimeters in X direction. No movement in Y direction. Movement of 33 minus thickness in Z direction. You can use expression also. Click OK. Click OK to remove material. In next step, effective thickness will be 12 minus 8 millimeters. Select subtractive box. Set thickness. Set width 22 millimeters. Set length 47 minus 14 minus 16 millimeters. Use expression tool. Select XY plane. Move in X direction. Move in Z direction. You can use expression tool. Expression for X. Click OK to remove material. 
Now in last step, we will remove material 12 mm downside. Select Subtractive Tool. Set Width. Height up to upper surface. Length will be same as previous step. Select XY plane. Move block in X direction. Entered length is wrong. Let's correct it. Move back. No movement in Y. 9 mm in Z. Click OK to remove material. Select last operation. Change this statement to true. And there you have it. By following along, and analyzing the isometric view, you've successfully recreated this part. Well done. Let's export this part. Give name and click on save. Let's import part. Select part and click OK. Select part in tree. In its properties, let move this part. Thank you for your time. Keep exploring, experimenting, and pushing the boundaries of your creativity.